Hello everyone, Simon here, and um, uh, we're in Minecraft, and I don't want to build anything today. Yes, so I've been designing... Actually, are these trees supposed to be here? Uh, I think they are. Um, I w I've been designing stuff fairly regularly since I started building the town with the uh, the roads and the park. And I think I need a break from designing because, you know, in the... The last time we built the, the clinic, I kind of just copied the one next to that, and then when I built the, the the classroom, it was pretty much a copy of this. I think what I'm getting to the like what I'm what I'm doing now is I'm getting to the point where like my mind is too full of existing ideas and I'm not really thinking of new ideas. And so I think I need some time off to just clear my brain of old ideas. So what I think I'm going to do in this session is I'm going to bring some villagers over from my um, iron golem farm. I'm going to flatten out some of this land so that when I actually go to build the build the houses, everything will be easier. So I'm going to flatten this out, flatten that out, chop down these trees, flatten this out until it's level with the road, and maybe like fill some of this stuff in, and so on. So I'm going to do that this time. Some of this stuff might not be interesting, I might just not record the filling in because it's just shoveling dirt and, and putting putting dirt down, so that's not going to be interesting. But yeah, I need a break. I need a break from designing because I don't want to... The thing is, when you're, when you're designing a lot, sometimes you get to the point where you just, you're just stuck for ideas because you... And then that's when you need to take a step back and maybe do something else for a while. So that you can come back with a with a fresh mind, right? You know, if you, if you spend too long doing the same thing, your your brain kind of you, you might get stuck on the same ideas over and over again. So you don't want to do that. Anyway, so um, yeah, that's what's happening today. So I need to build a. I'm going to use minecarts. I'm going to build a minecart track from the iron golem farm all the way to the village, which is it's not that far. And uh, we also need to make sure that we don't lose any villages along the way. I'm just trying to think which way I should do this. I guess here would be easiest. I can just, you know, remove a block. You probably should do that anyway. So do that. Maybe do that. And then break through here and bring one of the, bring two of these guys over. So you can hear the villagers in there, right? Making a lot of noise. Yeah, that's probably the easiest way to do that. Let me just go find my minecart tracks and get two minecarts, and then we'll figure it out. Uh, let's just grab a bit of iron. The villagers don't really say anything interesting, do they? <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Let's just do that all day long. Not the uh, not the best conversationalist, but that's okay, I guess. Hmm. I should build a road going that way. <laughs> I'm just I'm just thinking of things and the skyscraper, of course. There's a lot of stuff that I, I can finish off. Ah, yes, starting projects and not finishing them. I. I will probably finish them at some point in the future. Uh, where's my iron? Let me just drop that there. And uh, where do I keep my go. Keep the flowers here. So I think the minecart tracks are over here. Huh? I can build a Minecraft a minecart system too because actually the transport is. Are the tracks here, or are the tracks in transport? Well, the tracks are here. Yeah, so now that I have unlimited iron from the iron golem farm, I should probably build a minecart system. I did have in mind a minecart system, I didn't record it though. A system for propagating minecart signals um, long distance. I don't know how redstone circuits work if they span large distance. Oh, I don't have enough mine uh, redstone dust. Never mind. 
All right. So let's put that idea on hold. So I don't know what happens when you have a mine, a, a redstone signal propagate beyond loaded chunks. So you know the chunks that are far away, they're not loaded in the game, right? So if you have a, a minecart or, or a redstone circuit that is so big that it, that, it lo that, that it crosses over into unloaded chunks, I don't know what the, uh, what the redstone does when it does when you have that happen. And I don't know how reliable that would be if you build a minecart system that travels really long distances and you have one of these things happen where you end up in a, in a chunk that wasn't loaded when you started, if that makes sense. Uh, I think what I need to do is to constrain the villagers and not let them wander around too much. So I'm going to remove a few extra doors to the sides and then block them in so they can't actually get very far and I might even like block them in out here so let me uh, get my tracks you know let me do this and I might even block them in like that there uh, let me drop the cards in Um, that's not going to work. Let me just remove that. Drop the cart in there. And then we're just going to do... So yeah, the idea is we don't want to let them wander around out here. We want to get them to fall into the carts immediately, if possible. Alright, so now we need to go that way. Which should be easy enough. Going diagonally doesn't actually save any uh, any tracks, so we can just go straight across mostly. Can I get up that hill there? I think I can. Let me just go up the hill, find a spot in the slope where we can actually just go straight up. And then, uh, do we want to go straight down and then straight up again? I guess we can. I think what I want to do is uh, go sideways one block. Actually, I should, I should um, make sure I can get down here. Uh, Alright, I'm going to go sideways one block and then go up the other hill we don't quite have enough tracks to do this in one go it looks like or maybe we do, maybe um, 14 more tracks Uh, haha, I need a, I need a, how do we get down? We can get down here, I think, like this? No, we can't go that way, probably have to come, maybe, maybe, uh, come down here? That's not gonna work. Um, hmm, we can always just remove some dirt, I guess. We can always come around this way. And then, all right, let's uh, let's finish off this track. Don't quite have enough to go all the way in one go, so I'm just gonna have to come across here, aren't we? That's probably a bad way to do that because because um, the uh, the minecarts will slide back down. All right, let's just end it here. That seems like a good idea. Alright, so let's see if we can wrangle some of these villagers onto the minecarts and then across. 
maybe I should like block. Never mind. I'll figure it out. Do you use pickaxes on tracks? Is that the fastest way to get them back? It is, right? Alright, so I'm going to come here. I'm going to drop a sand... Huh. I kind of need to go in the other side, don't I? Let me, uh... Let me... Do that. Oh, hey guys. Let me grab that, and uh, let me just... Probably one at a time is a, is a better idea. Let me, um... Remove one of those, drop that there, and then we go in the other side. And uh, see if we can convince some villagers to go onto the go onto the minecarts. All right, hey guys, what are you doing? Hanging out? So, if I can find, okay, here we are. So, if I remove this. And then, do I just push him into the cart? Oh crap, the cart's gonna fall out the other side. Do I need to drop him into a cart? I do, don't I? Um... Uh... I need to drop him into a cart. Alright, let me... <laughs> let me redesign this. Let me reconsider this because that's not going to work. Um, Alright, I need to drop him into a cart, so we need to lower the minecart at this point. And just push that back there. Um, let me put that back. Let me remove this. And, uh... I guess we come down here, put the track down like that, and then cart. I'm gonna end up suffocating these guys, aren't I? Alright, there's one. We got one. Can I get this guy? No, don't do that. Can I get this guy into that cart? Or is it... Alright guys, don't go back. Go back the other way. Go back the other way. <laughs> go back. No, go back the other way, guys. Ah, uh, this is bad. So now they're all piling up into this point. <laughs> uh, this is this is kind of bad. Crap, I should have blocked off the... What do we do about this? Because they're all trying to get to the doors. I'm pretty sure. We just block those guys in. And try to figure out how we're gonna do this. Well, hmm. We almost have it. I don't wanna suffocate because if I push the minecart I can I can push the minecart through this underneath the sand block and then that would suffocate the villager on top. That's not a good thing. We don't want to do that. And these guys are deliberately Alright, well that that worked. That actually worked the way we wanted. Just block this up. Cause now we have a second guy in there. And conceivably we can just take him and run. Right. Ah, uh, I think this worked. I don't think anyone else escaped. Although we did manage to push that villager through and suffocate him a little bit. Did he die? Oh, there he is, back there. All right. Can you get into that cart? Where is the other guy? Did he die? Oh, I think the other guy would have died. Where's the other villager? There was one white here. Alright, never mind. 
Let me do that. And that. And no, don't. No, minecart, come back. Let me just do that. Alright, do that. Block that. Can can one of you please walk towards me? Why are they running? Are they running? Is there a zombie somewhere? They seem to be running away from something. No, come down. Come down. Somebody... Somebody... We're almost... We almost have it. And... And... How did he... How did he no get onto the cart? Let me just No come down. Come come towards me. Come towards me. Damn it. I need to be ready to drop a block behind him. As soon as someone comes down here, I need to drop a cobblestone there so he can't get away. Now get into the minecart, if you please. Can you please get into can I just push it? Okay, done. Done. We're done. We're done, guys. 